Hello everyone, welcome to a short video of the Master of Public Policy at UWA. In this short video, you will hear from our three course coordinators about a wonderful program that we have at the university. Sit back and enjoy. Hello, welcome to the UWA Online Open Day. Um, and this is the Master of Public Policy presentation. I am Dr. Marilyn Bromberg, and I am the coordinator of the law specialization in Master of Public Policy. The Master of Public Policy provides you with a multidisciplinary understanding of the role of government in economic activity, public policy making, and law. The course focuses on how government interacts with the economy, law, and society to develop efficient and effective policies. You may choose in the Master of Public Policy to specialize in one or else two areas. So the three potential areas in which one can specialize are public administration and government, or law, or economics. So you can choose one or two of these areas in which to specialize. In this presentation, um, Associate Professor Jeanette Taylor will discuss public administration and governance specialization in the Master of Public Policy, and Dr. Alyssa Birch will discuss the economic specialization. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeanette Taylor, and I coordinate the public administration and governance specialization in the Master of Public Policy program. So let me tell you a bit about this specialization. The public administration and governance specialization focuses on the governance aspects of public policy. This specialization prepares you to become effective managers and leaders of government organizations. So these organizations can be local government organizations, they can also be state, federal, and international governing organizations. The public administration and governance specialization is also useful for those who work in or aspire to work in nonprofit organizations. Our teaching and learning activities emphasize a strong link between theory and practice. Public administration and governance students um, are taught to apply theories to analyze and address a wide range of contemporary public policy issues like climate change and pandemic. The public administration and governance specialization offer two pathways. You can have the option to choose the coursework pathway. For those who are interested in research, you can also do a combination of coursework and dissertation. Our graduates work in a wide range of occupations from policy officers to managers and consultants. Before I go into the public administration and governance units, I'll show you the list of units that are common to all three specializations. As you can see from this slide, there are four units that you must take in the Master of Public Policy program. One unit from each of the three specialization and a capstone unit. In order to specialize in public administration and governance, you must complete two core units. They are public administration and regulation and governance. In the public administration unit, you will learn about managing public organizations from managing people to managing the organization's performance and these include managing organizational change. 
Many of the units in this specialization are taught in intensive mode over a couple of weeks rather than the full 12 week period. The purpose is to help you to better integrate and balance your study with work, family and other commitments. The Public Administration and Governance Specialization offers six electives and all you need to do is choose two of these electives in order to specialize. As you can see from this slide, there is a wide range of options available from evaluation to media governance to climate change policy and planning. Take the evaluation unit as an example. Um, evaluation is an important component of public policy making. Without evaluation, we would not be able to know whether the policy that we have designed and implemented is doing its job. So this evaluation unit teaches you to undertake both quantitative and qualitative evaluation of public programs and projects. You can also find out more about each of these units in the online handbook that is available at the UWA website. Hi, my name is Dr. Elisa Birch, and I'm here to talk to you about the economic specialization of the Master of Public Policy. In the economic specialization of the program, you're going to learn how to think like an economist. It's a program which is designed for people who have no economic knowledge or prior skills in economics, but want to be an economist and work in the public policy domain. In this, in this specialization, you will learn things about the whole economy-wide phenomena, and you will learn things about individual economy-wide phenomena, such as how do you set price. In the units, you will learn things about economic theory, and, and you'll learn things about governance and institutions. Importantly, what you're going to learn within this specialization is how the government can help the economy. It is a great specialization if you want to know about real world issues. So when thinking about whether you would like to do an economic specialization within the Master of Public Policy, one question we always get asked is, what type of job would I get out of doing this specialization? Well, the type of jobs you can get are things like policy officers, economic analysis, um, research officers. A lot of our students have gone on to work for great organisations as well. So you'd be looking at working at places like the state, federal, local governments. You may be working at policy houses such as the Productivity Commission, and you can even go on to working at things like the World Bank, the IMF, the United Nations, as well as not-for-profit sectors, as well as the private sectors. A number of our graduates have also then gone on to work as researchers for universities, and some have gone on to do further study, such as a PhD. So in this slide, I wanted to talk to you about the units that you will cover in the economic specialisation of the MPP. We have three core units which you need to take. The first of these units is the economics of public policy. All students who study the Master of Public Policy will take this unit. This unit is to give you the background knowledge of economics which you need. It's taught at a postgraduate level, but for students who have never studied economics before, you will cover the basics like how to measure GDP, what is GDP, and you'll learn, a thing, learn about things like demand and supply. The unit then extends, extends this knowledge to teach you about specific policies that you can write in economics. So you will be learning about things on, such as a tax on sugar, for example. You may learn about what happens to the price of beer when we increase the price of beer. What should we do to stop a negative externality, such as pollution? These are what you're going to cover in the Master of Public Policies 
unit called the economics of public policy. The second core unit which you need to take is economics research and evaluation methods. In this unit, you are going to learn how to analyse data. You're going to learn what data is and you are going to learn how to use that data to explain economic phenomena. And you will also learn um, how some basic econometric skills so that you can analyse data and then write policy to create solutions to economic problems. The third unit that you will take as a core unit in the economic specialisation of the Master of Public Economics, uh, Master of Public Policy is called Public Economics. And Public Economics is really expanding your understanding of public policy towards economics. So you might be learning things like monetary policy. How does the change in the interest rate affect the economy? What happens when we put a tax on a certain product? These are the th three core units that you will take in the MPP. These units are offered usually either in first and second semester, and some are offered in one semester only. But you need to complete these units to complete your economic specialisation. Within the economic specialisation, we have a number of elective units you can also take. There are six elective units that you can look at which specialise in different areas of economics, which are all focused on the public policy domain. You can do areas such as development economics, environmental economics. You can look at economic growth and the role of institutions, such as the government or central bank. You can also learn about finance. You can learn about global health and you can do economic analysis and policy. In our economic analysis and policy unit, you are going to learn things like the economics of terrorism. You may learn about labour economics. These are all great units. They're taught by a variety of academics at our um, discipline who love economics and are very passionate about these research areas. Our unit coordinators all specialise in these topics and research in these topics. So they, you're going to actually learn about their research and learn how this can be applied to helping the economy. Moving on, I'll lead you to Marilyn, who's going to talk to you about law. The law specialization in the Master of Public Policy is relatively new. It was added in um, 2020 this year. Um, and it's a really good addition to the, the Master of Public Policy. Um, having knowledge of the law is normally uh, helpful in, in so many different areas. Um, the law stream in the Master of Public Policy gives students policy development knowledge in the context of specific areas of law and legal institution. It looks at these issues from theoretical, doctrinal, and practical perspectives and through a critical lens. It gives students useful policy, regulatory, and legal knowledge, and it can help them in so many different environments, such as government, uh, non-government organization, private businesses, particularly those working with the public sector. The law stream is only available through coursework um, and not through a dissertation. With the law stream, um, starting in 2021, um, all students in the Master of Public Policy will take as a core unit, Foundations of Law, Policy and Government. However, students who want to specialize in law as one of their one or two specializations uh, will also be required to take the unit regulation, theories and practice. So uh, in terms of elective units in the law specialization, the NPP, there are quite a few interesting ones. Um, so in, in there are quite a few to choose from. So there's aviation law, climate change law, and emissions, which is particularly contemporary and relevant. There's environmental protection law, uh, foundations of law and legal institutions. That unit is particularly relevant and helpful to take if you don't have a background in law. 
There's also foundations of public international law, government accountability and practice, international environmental law, international human rights law, research paper one, and research paper two. You should take uh, research paper two in particular if you want to um, go on and to complete higher degrees by research in the future. There's also space law satellites and drones and theories of justice and punishment, which is a unit um, relating to uh, criminal law and in particular criminology. So now that you've heard about our wonderful specialisations in the Master of Public Policies, the important thing you need to know is how do I actually get into the Master of Public Policy? To get into the Master of Public Policy, you need to have an undergraduate degree. So you need to have a bachelor's degree at UWA or a relevant qualification which is recognised by UWA. What grades do you need? You need an average mark of 50%. So you have needed to pass your bachelor's degree or you need at least two years of professional experience within law, public administration or economics. The other alternative pathway you get into the Master of Public Policies is to complete a graduate certificate in the public policy at UWA. To get into UWA, you also need to recruit, um, re you are required to complete UWA's English language skills test. And our duration of our course is 1.5 years for a full-time student, but this can be extended to two years if you take four additional units or you take more than one specialisation. If you would like to do a PhD, then you usually would do it over two years. You can study part-time and this is up to around five years. So if you want to learn more about the Master of Public Policy, please contact us. To contact us, if you're interested in public administration and governments and all the law specialisation, please contact the Art Postgraduate Students Office. If you're interested in the economic specialisation, you need to contact the UWA Business School. Their phone numbers and emails are on this slide, so please make a note of these. So that wraps up our presentation. Thank you for listening to it. We hope to see you as an MPP student at the university um, very soon. Welcome to UWA if you're going to enrol in the unit. All the best and take care. Cheers.